Okay, guys, so moving on here, we're going to continue getting into our grappling skills, right? You know, you got to have your inside leg stand up, but, you know, also got to have, um, you know, a few other ways to get away, guys. So my personal uh, favorite escape, I would say I got probably, you know, 80% of my escapes in college uh, just with this sit-out tournament, you know, and it would usually be quick, guys. It was probably, you know, five, 10 seconds, I was out, okay? So if you can really develop this skill, it's a, it's a game changer, you know, especially if you're somebody who likes inside leg stand up, you know, I would go inside leg stand up. If I seal off here, okay, and he's not under my arm, this guy's options are limited, right? He can either try to run me forward or a lot of guys will try to chop to the side, okay? So as soon as you feel that, if you go inside leg stand up, as he's chopping me, I'm gonna get a little back pressure and get my feet up and go right into it, okay? It's subtle, but stay off for a second. You see, right, as he chops me, I gotta get a little back pressure and get this foot out as I go into the sit out turn in. Otherwise, you'll go and you'll end up with your ankle hooked and he'll cover my hips, okay? So I get a little bit of back pressure as he's chopping that allows me to get my feet out and I go right into it, okay? I gotta stay sealed off here. I'd say most common mistake I see on the sit out turn in is guys will go here, uh, opponent will chop them, and they'll put this arm out here and think they're gonna get up on their head. Okay, again, against an average guy that might work, but somebody who's good and knows what they're doing on top, especially single wrist guys, as soon as I post this arm, right, as soon as I post that arm, he chops, right, okay, he's coming right inside here, get single wrist, right, and then he's running real, okay, so, seal off, guys, roll on this side of your body, again, can't seal off and get cross-wristed, okay, Seal off, roll on the side of your body, get up on your head and high leg over. All right, that's the key, guys. I'm trying to stay tight, compact in a ball. Okay, don't get extended, right? Stay tight, compact, he chops. I'm gonna use that momentum and get up on my head and toes, okay? So again, go inside leg, stand up, he chops, right? I seal off, right here. Okay, up on my head and my toes. Now, I don't pause here, okay? If this here's good, Right, he's gonna be trying to cover me, right? He's trying to fall. You're gonna see how I get that arm up, okay? As long as I get this arm up, I'm good. All right, if I can, sometimes I'll, I'll keep the wrist to my hip, get the reversal, all right? A lot of times, this guy will just cut you loose, okay? He'll realize he's beat, okay, and I'm out. All right? When you high leg over, guys, do not pause. Right? You've done everything right so far. Don't pause and give that guy an opportunity to follow you and cover your hips, right? Keep moving, have a sense of urgency, and get that one, all right? Uh, real briefly here, you know, I, I honestly don't show this to our younger kids because it creates almost bad habits. Um, they don't try to get away with this sit-out turning and they'll just wait and try to go for the Grammy, okay? So, you know, honestly, with the real young kids, I don't show it, but that being said, you know, as you get older, it is an important skill to recognize. So, you know, if I'm here, right, I go sit out, turn in, I don't get this arm up, right? I always want to get this arm up so I can have that separation, but let's say I don't, he follows me, okay. I can go into a Granby or Peterson here. All right, so, you know, so far, I've showed how to, how to go in your sit-out turn-in off your inside leg stand-up because that's what I did, but you know, you also can just go right into it, right? So here, again, first thing, seal off, I push back to my butt, okay? Now, I'm here, he'll either chop me or I'll go right into it. Okay, up, right, arm up, sit, get that reversal. 